Yes, cool. We are going to find out more about Lindsay Sterling. Yay. First of all, you look adorable oh, for the AMAs. Well, is this your first AMA? You know, it actually is my first. Okay, so what have you been up to? You play the violin? I do. I'm a violinist. Um, I'm working on a new album right now. I do like a fusion of electro meets classical. And um, so yeah, right now I'm working on a new album. And um, now, were you one of those five-year-olds that, or three-year-olds with what's that technique? That Suzuki. Suzuki. I was they, one of those. Were yes. you? Is that how you got into the the whole thing? Absolutely. I, I begged for lessons when I was about five years old, and really? uh, started playing classical violin, and then just kind of decided to put a twist on it, you know. And once I I started to get burnt out, and I was like, I need to make this fun. So here I am making it fun. <laughs> Violin was my first oh, instrument. Oh, really? Nice. We can, we can <laughs> when, connect on when that. When everyone else's bow went up, mine went down. Uh oh, believe me. I, I, she's I, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> so now, what's going on this year, and what are you looking forward to in, in 2016? I can't believe we're talking about 2016 I know, already. Right? Crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm working on an album that will be released in 2016, probably summer, early summer. Um, I'm writing, or I just finished writing a book that's coming out in January, which I'm really excited and about. what's the book about? What's it called? What's it's, it about? It's a memoir, so it's just about me. Wait, a, a memoir? <laughs> How old are you? Um, I'm actually 29. <gasps> she's 29. Oh, I'm 29. I thought she was 18. Ah, oh, thanks, girl. <laughs> Knocking the, like over a decade off my calendar. Yeah. I like that. Um, but yeah, it just tells kind of, um, I'm an independent artist and I use YouTube to kind of forge my way. Um, when it was a very new platform and so it's uh, the book talks about everything about my personal life and my professional life that have kind of led me to where I am at and the title of the book is the only pirate at the party and it's a perfect metaphor for my story and my life <laughs> I love it the only pirate at the party yes okay when's it out January January 12th and what advice do you have for somebody that's getting into music today? Ah. Things have changed so much over the years, huh? Yes, you know, and there is no rule book anymore, which is the coolest thing. And I think it's it's such a neat age to be able to put your art out there because there's no gatekeepers anymore. Everybody always thinks you need to go to a label or a talent agency. But the thing is, you can self promote your own art and after being rejected by every record label <laughs> talking from experience here um, I didn't know there was any other way at the time this was <clears throat> years ago and I kind of started putting my stuff up on this thing called YouTube because I didn't know what else to do and I just thought well I'll throw it here why not and um, it changed my life I'm an independent artist and I tour I've toured literally the world and I do what I love I, this is my and you're third doing album it on your and own. I, I do it on my own Total and um, indie. I'm indie She's an indie. Anybody that you would love to work with. If oh, you, yes. If, if you could pick somebody from the stars, who would it be that you would want to work with? Oh, there's so many. I, okay, I am obsessed with Sia. I would want to do a collab with Sia and have her sing with my violin. Um, and also, I'd love to write with Skrillex and Zed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that very diverse, very yes. diverse. Kind of like how you are, right? Yeah, I do EDM yeah. music. I like classical. It's all over the place. And last question, when you're out on tour, do you have any idiosyncrasies, you know, the whole green M&M oh, kind yes. of story? Um, you know, are you pretty is, easy or, I, or do you have the special needs? Well, I, I feel like to think we're a pretty easy writer. I know people are always surprised that there's no alcohol on our writer, which I guess is very rare. No alcohol? No alcohol on our writer. We fill it mostly with, um, we always ask for a juicer. I'm obsessed <laughs> with juicing. Um, and uh, rose-scented candles. Oh. So every, that way everywhere kind of smells like home. You know, oh, it's that's a consistent thing. You walk into the dressing room and it feels like home. That's so sweet. And where can we find more <laughs> about um, what you're doing? And uh, YouTube, of course. Oh, go to the tubes, <laughs> man. That's I think that's where you get the best visual slash musical representation of, of kind of what I love to do and what's unique about it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining us in yes, the, Z, the Z Stream Lounge. The Z Stream Lounge. The American Music Awards.